Okay, guys and girls, I've got the microphone on, and uh, I am late. I am very late. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and uh, it's been uh, a very trying day here. Boy, oh boy, has it ever for me. Anyway, uh, good evening. I'm about uh, 20 minutes late according to the clock here for start time. Uh, just got in the door and got this thing fired up. So, uh, Piggy says I'm naughty. Naughty Dr. Fox. Well, hey, I'm not the naughty guy. It's those guys working on the roads that had all the traffic stopped on the highway. You know, uh, like not expected. Not expected at all. Anyway, uh, welcome everyone, and I see it's not an, an eruption. We hear things blinging, blopping, and stuff. Anyway, for, uh, for those who are joining us, it is day 145 of the Icelandic volcano eruptions. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I'm actually located here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, but I will soon be in Iceland, uh, hopefully uh, on the uh, morning of the 17th. Uh, if everything goes well, as long as I don't get no traffic jam somewhere. <laughs> uh, I love uh, having uh, all you guys uh, pop in real quick. Uh, excellent to see. And uh, I do apologize for being late. It's just one of those things that um, you can't help it sometimes. You just got to really go with the flow and uh, hope, uh, hope things go. Anyway, I do see a whole bunch of good people that popped in already. I'm going to try to start naming some names as soon as I... Uh, I got to try to download the uh, the chart first. <laughs> uh, then we'll do that. Um, and then I will um, kind of pay attention to the right screen, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, too many things to, uh, to look at all at the same time here. And uh, it gets a little stressful trying to do everything at the same time. Uh, anyway, all right, I have that saved. And uh, now I can say hi to everyone. I'm going to go through uh, what I see here real quick. Uh, welcome to Duchess of Elements. I see you popped in here. Cap3 is in the house. Maui Me. Uh, Thendus Nye, good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, Truth is also here. Of course, our uh, wonderful Arizona snowman carrying his big uh, stick and then he's also got some snowballs to uh, take care of all those people who are being mean <laughs> and uh, also uh, Gary's Variety Channel is in the house as well as uh, Hugh Blackburn, Mark LaBarbecue, uh, let's see Piggy, hey Piggy is here, nice to see you Piggy, uh, Judy McClellan also uh, back in the house, Pistol Pete, hey neighbor, uh, Sue Hayes uh, also uh, back. Uh, Ducky is here, uh, going up uh, the ladder a little bit. I see uh, Betty is also back. Uh, let's see who else. Flo Smith, welcome back, Flo. And going up some more. Chicky Gomberg, uh, didn't want to miss you. Uh, Paul Zilla uh, also in the house. Uh, Thor is back. Uh, Rebecca Patterson, uh, Sharon Stewart. Uh, what is it? Ascendors, uh, Ascendor 81. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, welcome. Um, cause first day of school, uh, anyone pick up their kids? Oh, it's not first day of school here. Um, here they don't start till September. Anyway, uh, let's see who else. Uh, 20 minutes. Did you bring buns? No, I didn't bring buns. I didn't even have time to. I, and I didn't go, get time to go get my cake either, okay? I'm disappointed. I was out of town, unfortunately. Aaron Horton also in the house. Uh, Lenny Anderson is also here. Bo is back. Grandma B. Uh, let's see, who else has uh, popped in? Uh, Rayola is also here. DJ uh, Puff the Third is back as well. Duchess of Elements, uh, I think we already got you. Sharon Stewart, uh, welcome. And uh, let's see, who else did I miss? Uh, Zoe, uh, welcome back. Uh, let's see, going up a little bit more. Uh, got those, got those, got those. Uh, Jim Strickland, uh, welcome. Good to have you on board. So uh, let's see, who else did I miss? I got Bo, I think. Uh, yep. Uh, Piggy, Judy Jones also here. Uh, welcome back, Judy. 
uh, Sharon Stewart, I, I might have said you twice already. Um, just going pack up real fast, trying to get everybody. Uh, Baytown Sam also in the house. Uh, Jeff Burke is back. Uh, Jim Strickland uh, also here. And did we have anyone else that we missed? I think I got oh, going south and uh, Ez is back as well. So uh, glad to see all of you guys in here. I'm going to see if, uh, who else I missed down at the bottom end. And um, uh, Larry Vladika also in the house. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, okay, where are we here? Did I miss myself? Uh, I messed myself up. All right, well, we'll say uh, good evening to uh, Bobby Lachebauer. And uh, <laughs> glad to have you back on board. Uh, who else did I miss? Brutal Avenger, I didn't say your name. Also see uh, uh, CND bo uh, Boy in here. So Bob is back. Uh, good to see you, Bob. And I think oh, Doug Christopher and Carla Edwards. Friend is also in the house. And uh, thank you guys for uh, popping in. Uh, really uh, glad you're here. And uh, I know the volcano is not doing anything right now. Uh, it does kind of look like there's some sort of a glow there, though. And I'm wondering what's causing that. I will have to go uh, uh, take a look. Maybe, uh, maybe it broke on the other side and it's spilling out that way. Uh, lava Lout, uh, did you miss me? <laughs> London Lava Lout, welcome. Uh, Bob Bob also in the house. Uh, Edson uh, also popped in. Uh, okay, let's see. Did I miss anyone else? Uh, Edith NZ, uh, welcome back. And uh, here's one that's a really long name that's going to be confusing. Uh, Los Caba Blank. Uh, what is it? Camorton. <laughs> boy that's a that's a whomper um i'll have to work on that one a little bit but welcome anyway and uh, i think i got most of you oh uh uh ought to go guy is also here and uh, let's see did i miss anyone else i think i got most of you now and um anyway i will uh keep uh peeking here and seeing if i missed a few names but uh Oh, Kim Lambert's also in the house. Uh, I did miss her. I just see uh, Bobby said hi to Kim, so I figured I better go uh, say something. <laughs> uh, me, yes, Kim, yes. Uh, uh, Las Casa Blanca uh, Morton from Denmark. Ah, thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> so uh, that makes it a little bit easier to figure out. Um, so how about I just call you Morton? <laughs> that would really be easy. Uh, Johnny Kraken also, uh, uh, back in the house. Uh, good to see you. Uh, Jason Slater and, um, Smokin' Jokin' also pop back in. And, um, let's see, who else? Who else? Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, cut me, cut me back by, uh, <laughs> by 1800 points there <laughs> or years uh, because it was actually that 2000 is actually for the year 2000 uh, is when uh, I got that name so um, that was what that's for but uh, it wasn't 1800 <laughs> or 200 I don't think uh, I, I think I was a wee wee tad little little guy back then uh, in the year 200 and uh, Denny also back in here uh let's see did i miss anyone else going by uh stream chat is moving fairly quick right now so uh oh mary overton uh, also here uh from smoky california okay um also uh stefan uh, broomhead also back in the chat so good to see you uh dr fox do you know how long the highway 427 is uh, I I know I don't uh, because I've never been there. I haven't measured it out. I have never driven it. But if somebody does have um, uh, what Fox Ki or Doctor Kit Fox two hundred, <laughs> uh, if anybody knows how long Highway four twenty seven is, uh, please throw that in the chat uh, because uh, our. Uh, 
uh, our friend Morton there he wants to uh, wants to know so uh, give it a whirl if you know Diane Craig also popped in uh, got caught up watching the funny bunny uh, I was uh, I was actually when I pulled up there and looking at her going is she even moving and uh, by then I seen her ear twitch when I started talking to her so I thought okay that's okay <laughs> she's just sleeping so uh, all cool uh, Leo Carlson also in the house 420 I don't know if I mentioned you but uh, good to have you here and uh, nice to see everyone uh, popping in uh, really quickly anyway I'm gonna try to load up the um, the seismic chart here or rumble chart as we call it and uh, we will see what we can uh, come up with uh, and find out what's going on with our volcano and um, I did notice there was some weird activity there but uh, so I'll get rid of the old one add the new one and uh, then we'll have a quick peek at it and let's see there we go uh, Oh, I guess the old one didn't disappear on me. Let's try that again. Remove. And, oh, I, rem I removed my crayons instead. Oops. I'll have to put those back on before I do that. Add crayons. Crayons. There. Down there. I don't need instructions. Thank you, crayons. And I need the right color and a thicker line. Okay. We can do this. So we'll push that live real quick and then we can see what it's actually doing. And um, I'm looking at that chart going, what the heck is it actually doing? Um, it almost looks like it's got a downslope on the, uh, the very low frequency and an upslope on the, uh, the higher ones. So a little confusing as far as reading that chart right now. I guess we'll have to wait for another 10-15 uh, minutes and see if it goes up a little bit and go from there. So uh, it is, it's really quite uh, quite different. I don't know, uh, because if you, if you look at uh, our stuff um, there, oh, I got the wrong color on here. That's okay. Uh, the purple one is going down and our blue one is, uh, blue and green look like they are uh, headed up. So uh, kind of interesting um kind of weird <laughs> but uh we'll see uh usually they all seem to work in unison and uh this time they're not so anyway i'll throw it back on the multi-screen here for now and let's see uh it is interesting kim um not sure why it's doing what it's doing but uh i'm uh i'm glad it's doing something for us though rather than being a flat liner down on the bottom I think my uh, one picture there is stalled. I'm going to have to take a look and see what's going on with that. Uh, in the meantime, we will put it over to maybe uh, one of the other cameras here and let it play this one. And uh, I did notice, uh, and I'm not sure why, but we do have a lot of glow right there. So, um, you know, coming up into the clouds. Um, interesting to see. So hopefully uh, it uh, means, um, uh, okay, Truth said, I heard the flow uh, has uh, gone out of Mal Mer uh, Meridalia. Oh, okay, Meridal, uh, I can't even talk. Holy Batman. Oh. Mm, yeah, yeah, the Northeast Valley. <laughs> oh. Okay, if it's uh, popped out of there, I haven't heard about that yet. Uh, like I said, I just got in the door, so I have nothing to go on and uh, no ideas. Um, maybe what I will do is see if I can um, um, uh, work on that during, uh, during my first break. And I'm going to take that break fairly quickly uh, because I do want to see if I can uh, load up uh, a little bit more. Uh, what direction is the okay that camera facing that camera would actually be kind of looking northwest uh, a little bit um, north northwest uh, if that helps you uh, uh, London lava out uh, the one that we're looking at right now yeah so that that is the uh, the visor feed and um, it is uh, good uh, back it up back it up lol <laughs> 
yeah careful careful don't hit anything while you're backing up and uh, because it'll be your fault automatically uh, Spion Claw also popped in and uh, let's see Pat Murphy uh, also in the house uh, Timothy uh, Sauer so, uh, Sawyer Sower Sower uh, I'm sorry Timothy uh, one of those three <laughs> I'm sure it will be close uh, glad to have you on board uh, Maui me going beep 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 okay uh, Sunil also back uh, will be interesting to uh, uh, see uh, you on screen well you know you can see me on screen when I go do my bunny duty I um, I usually have it uh, zoomed out far enough and uh, it is a little bit further away but uh, um, you can catch me there so uh, Ellis uh, Wright also popped in as well as Tomcat 73 uh sun yeah it might be the sunset glowing I don't know what's going on there but uh it, it's confusing me <laughs> did the lava flow uh, toward the capital I don't think so um, I I have not heard yet um, but if somebody said uh, somebody was mentioning that it flowed out of uh, Meridalia um, it's going to be interesting to see where it went and uh, of course we we guesstimated that it would uh, saw you yesterday with the money uh, uh, bunny uh, watcher lady oh okay flow um so yep see uh Flo seen me she knows i think a lot of people in here that go over to the bunny stream uh, have caught that uh, as well uh cheryl uh, hewitt also in the house um uh, let's see um who else pj Steele. i don't know if i mentioned you earlier or not or if you're just popping in Hugh Blackburn, not the sunset. Okay, uh, it's not a sunset. All right, interesting. Uh, Diane Michael uh, also here, and uh, let's see, Fortis uh, also back in the house. Uh, glad to see you. I'm just trying to keep up to uh, whoever's popped in. I didn't, don't really want to miss too many uh, people, so I don't want anybody mad. <laughs> anyway um okay so yeah we see lots of uh no buns no lava yeah it is the way it is no buns no lava and um we are uh doina fred also in the house we're uh we're we're bunless and lavaless um uh, so anyway i'm going to see if i can actually uh, maybe keep this thing in a split mode for a second and take a look at our other uh other things while I'm I'm trying to uh, see what's going on and uh, no that's not it let's go here no that one ain't gonna work uh, but I'm going to run through that anyway and 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 where as soon as I can find where it actually is there it is it's all gray so it's hard to see um, okay actually we'll um, we'll go over to that one for for right now for a minute uh, just to see we'll run through the day and um, see what uh, what it's actually doing so this is from the uh, the north view cam and uh, I will uh, start the uh, because it's uh, still pictures uh, we will uh, start that up so that was from last night and uh, we'll see how far it progresses and what uh, what happened and uh, we'll maybe let that run uh, a little bit so we do know there was a lot of lava uh, flowing into Meridalia and um, it uh, definitely is interesting to see and um, yeah it's getting through everything and we do see a lot of mass of, of lava but I can't really tell if um, there was anything that uh, that spilled over yet from this angle anyway uh, and then it got uh, cloudy and fuzzy on us. So I'm going to stop that there. And uh, we'll put us back to one of the other cameras. And uh, see if we have uh, any improvement in, in pictures or anything. And you know it is getting darker out there. And that is a glow coming uh, from the crater somewhere. Or maybe we have a lava pool sitting on the uh, outside. Uh, I thought the sunset too. Uh, but now I... I don't think so. 
uh, Grandma B, you might be right. Uh, Denny Henry, uh, uh, this is the, the most interesting view so far. Uh, lava is uh, a dist uh, distraction from uh, what deserves attention. Yeah, it, uh, it can be distracting. It can be distracting, uh, but we like it. Uh, James Donnelly also in the house. Uh, good evening, Jed. And let's see, Highway 427 is 56 kilometers long. So whoever was asking about the highway, it's 56 kilometers long. So if you are doing warp 9, you will be all finished in about a half a second. And not even. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no speeding on that highway, by the way. That's... Uh, I think it's the speed limit is like 30 kilometers an hour or something, right? Uh, Larry, I don't know. Uh, what's the speed limit on the, on that highway? Do you know by chance? Uh, just curious. <laughs> since since you were there, you you might know. Uh, Ronnie Rhino also in the house. Uh, Pat Murphy uh, popped in as well. Uh, welcome, you guys. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anyone else? Uh, okay, the high rhino will allow that. Okay, another moderator handle it. Okay, cool. Um, I think uh, they are all 55 kilometers. Okay, so 55 kilometers an hour is kind of the speed limit. Uh, yeah, 55 kilometers uh, per hour. So uh, if you're trucking along, that's uh, that's about... Uh, 30 miles, uh, oh, 55 miles, and, uh, okay, per hour. It's not 55 miles, it's 55 kilometers. Mm. That makes a big difference between the two. Uh, 55 kilometers an hour is about 30, uh, 32, 34, 35 uh, kilometers an hour, or miles per hour. Um, 55 uh, yeah, kilometers per hour. Uh, that's slow. It is. Fortis says uh, 90 miles per hour. No, no, that's just the Autobahn, yeah? <laughs> so hang on. Oh, miles per hour. It's 55 miles per hour. Okay. Thank you, uh, Larry. Uh, since Larry was there, I have to trust him because he didn't get any speeding tickets. And... Um, 50 yeah so 35 miles in length is uh, is what that highway is pretty cool and glad uh, glad to know that uh sandra rockland hi and uh everyone else sleep time at the volcano yeah it seems to be uh, it seems to be quiet right now but because i did start late um i i feel guilty for taking a, a break here but i do need to do that I need to uh, uh, do a few things. I mean, I basically got in the door and started going. Um, so I still have to uh, accommodate myself a little bit. Uh, max speed anywhere in Iceland. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't think you need to go super, super fast. You run out of road real quick. Uh, adulting is hard. <laughs> uh, welcome. And uh, yeah, sometimes that is, I guess. So, uh, been a while, but uh, finally back. Uh, Heather Wilson, uh, welcome, Heather. And uh, glad to have you back on board. Uh, Jason uh, from uh, Google, the speed limit uh, is often 60 kilometers per hour uh, on the throughways and the residentials. It's usually uh, th uh, 30 kilometers an hour. Okay, I can understand that. Yeah, if you go into, into town and... You don't want to be uh, wheeling too much. But anyway, guys, I'm going to take that little bit of a break. Uh, if you like what you're seeing so far, and if you haven't hit that like button, please consider that. Also, if you're new to the stream and you haven't uh, subscribed yet, uh, you might want to bop that fox on the nose there. Uh, don't do it if you got a TV, though. Uh, use a mouse. Uh, mice are... are uh, are easier and uh, if you have a real mouse don't throw the mouse at the fox okay <laughs> anyway i'm gonna be back in about five minutes don't go away and uh, keep smiling i'm gonna see if we can find why that lava is so low 
uh, don't go away.
Okay, guys and girls, I turned the microphone back on and figured I better get back in here. And uh, did get my bucket of Pepsi refilled and uh, working on uh, uh, getting a couple images loaded. And uh, Carla Edwards uh, sent me uh, uh, this interesting one. Yesterday we were uh, talking about where is Bob. And uh, apparently she found uh, this very interesting uh, photo that was uh, superimposed uh, or it's got the uh, the positions uh, on the uh, 3d map indicating where Bob is and uh, um, Bob with Bob jr. of course or whatever you want to call him and uh, of course they're showing uh, uh, NAR uh, as uh, being rag and are basically in in that one vent right so uh, that's a pretty cool um, cool picture and it is uh, uh, Seppo uh, Velimaki I believe is the uh, the guy who posted that uh, but thank you uh, uh, Carla uh, Nanner Nanner didn't make me jump piggy I wasn't trying to I was trying to be soft and gentle because I knew you were there and I didn't want you to uh, jump and twitch your leg too hard or anything like that. And I I uh, really, really don't want to do that. <laughs> I want you to heal up properly. And I know you've been getting enough sleep, but um, that's kind of what it is. Anyway, um, this is where uh, we uh, see good old uh, Bob. And um, uh, that was pretty much uh, where I seen him before there and yeah i'm pretty close to to where i i said he was going to be so um very close i i had him a little bit further over um to the um uh, let's see i i'm gonna point out where i was saying thinking that he was i i thought he was more like that but uh nevertheless we're we're pretty darn close with uh with where he is uh, so um, really good to see and um, now we now we know uh, I jumped through the roof uh, yeah Paul yeah not supposed to have your uh, <laughs> headphones cranked up that high uh, when I'm not there uh, <laughs> lots of fun uh, let's see Siggy is in the house uh, welcome Siggy uh, glad to have you uh, in here and um, for those who don't know, Siggy is one of the uh, one of the 19 landowners, and uh, they actually own our wonderful volcano right there. So, uh, very very cool, and uh, I like that. Um, glad to have him on board, and he does have some interesting history, um, and uh, you can uh, always uh, well Siggy will probably drop that link for uh, his Facebook page, uh, which has got some real. Um, good uh, uh, history of what's going on so uh, thanks Dr. Fox I appreciate you sharing it with us I'm glad uh, glad that you can turn around and, and throw those links in there and share that history uh, Siggy because that to me is very very fascinating that you know it's been in the family for 800 years that's a that's a long time and um you know, um, I I know some of the history of my family, but uh, certainly not back 800 years. <laughs> um, so it it is good. Uh, there you guys go. So if you want to go see uh, the Facebook thing, uh, and you can have a look at it there. Uh, Siggy uh, just dropped the link into the uh, the chat, and uh, if you guys have a pop at that, so you can right click on that link, open it in a new tab and uh, away you go uh, okay uh, truth says uh, there is a glow in the crater and i'm happy there's a glow in the crater i want more than just a glow though i want to see some flow <laughs> lava flow that is uh thor uh, i just uh, okay i thought bob was the crater beside the blue rings um yeah no the uh like if i go back to that picture for a second uh let me go back there and um we'll look at that um yeah i 
I don't know if uh, if you were thinking it might have been this guy here. Um, I know this was a, a fresh new lava pool. Okay, so that's a pool, and uh, that just happened recently. Okay, and uh, let's make that mel. So uh, this other one here, um, that's a pool too. So. Um, but yeah, um, like I said before, I, I put it about there before. So the base could have actually been a little bit further over, but, uh, it is buried though. So we don't get to see him in the future anymore. And, um, uh, Bob equals blue. Yeah, apparently Bob and Bob Jr. So they're both in the same spot. Uh, Dr. Fox, this is getting good. Thank you uh, for your coverage. Uh, uh, oh, you have Pepsi, sir. Well, uh, yeah, you can get me one later. I just uh, just filled my bucket up, so I'm good for uh, for at least a half an hour. <laughs> uh, as long as I get to uh, sip it a little bit uh, in uh, in between time here, and uh, hopefully you guys don't hear me chugging it down. Uh, let's see if we, uh, I wanted to pop over to the other cameras though. I want to see what's going on. So this one, of course, yeah, this is the, uh, the MBL, uh, close up and we can definitely see some glow in the crater as, um, uh, truth, uh, had mentioned. So, um, it is kind of nice to see. And, uh, you know, if you look down there, you can see the, uh, the walls are lighting up, um, kind of inside there and uh, we like it we like it um, the other uh, the other elements out here of course uh, these are uh, lava workers and uh, they're busy I don't know what they're doing on the outside they're probably trying to repair things um, Siggy may know better than I do uh, on those guys uh, we do see a whole bunch of them all over the place um, it's e either they're out uh, causing problems or uh, or they're just working overtime or something. Um, hopefully they're going to get uh, get it going. Yeah, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> slacking. Yeah, they're slacking. Uh, well, actually, they may not be slacking. Uh, they, they may actually be out there uh, doing what they're supposed to, cleaning up the mess and uh, getting our uh, eruption going. So uh, good to see, though, uh, that that's happening. And uh, what else we got? Uh, what's this? Uh, this one is the, uh, oh, yeah, all you can see is some lava workers on that screen. That's the uh, long view, or uh, looking from across uh, the valley there uh, from the, uh, the long ridge. And uh, we only see a couple lava workers. That's it. Uh, okay, and let's see, this is, uh, is this stuck? Yeah, that camera is stuck. I got to refresh that one. But that was the berm, and uh, we don't see anything there in that still shot. <laughs> but uh, I'll see if I can get that going. And, of course, this is, uh, this is the Nunhagi uh, cam uh, from MBL, and we see uh, no, uh, no lights or anything uh, wandering around. Uh, kind of interesting that we don't see anyone. Uh, is this guy moving? No, this one isn't moving either, or is it? Um, well, uh, I think it's buffering. Okay, so uh, let's pop over to this one here. And uh, is that really? Yeah, it's the right time and everything. I just don't see as much glow as I th thought I should. We do see the glow right here, though. Um, I'm still wondering if this is just a lava pool on the other side. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Because uh, I was looking through the, um, the still shot cams, uh, ugh, the still shots, and uh, one of them there looked like there was a, a very, very large pool there. So if that's uh, what it is, it may, may be a pool that is... Um, draining a little bit or moving or something and causing uh, it to crack open and, and glow. So uh, again, you know, just kind of guessing at it, but uh, don't know 100%. Uh, 
Um, nevertheless, we will see what uh, we can do. No one hiking without uh, without flow. Yeah, I guess they they want to see that uh, at nighttime. They want to see what's going on. So it is three minutes after midnight there, or four minutes after midnight. Uh, so uh, being out and about uh, with the thing being shut down, I guess, is really not uh, not very good sightseeing, if you know what I'm saying. And let's see what else we got. Uh, so we got that nice image there for the uh, um, finding out where that was. I'll get rid of that one. And uh, I'm trying to find that other image that I thought would depict what we what I was saying about yeah I think it's gonna be right around there I'm gonna throw that up on the screen real quick before it changes and oh no wrong wrong spot wrong spot uh, how about this one yeah this will work so when we looked at, at that still image um, we do see that that glow that we seen um, I thought it was coming from right here somewhere. So uh, this material here. And we do have a fair-sized lava pool there. And also that extra lava you see uh, on the side here. This is starting to uh, really infringe upon Sif and uh, Hell over on the side. So interesting to see that. Uh, Dr. Fox, I replaced the valves uh, with Siggy's D DIY plumbing. Oh no. <laughs> DIY do it yourself kind of thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fun. Uh, okay, I'm starting to wonder about the, if the chart is wrong. Well, the chart might be right. I don't know. Um, this though, this was. Uh, this is actually, uh, it still says day 144 on it. I got to change that. Hang on. It's day 145. That's what happens when you hit the ground running and um, you miss uh, a few of those things. Um, yeah, this is, isn't uh, isn't from at present. This was from, uh, uh, let's see, 12.04.30. Uh, uh, sorry, for, yeah, from the 4.30 a.m., Iceland time is when when that was going on so uh, just so you have that and don't confuse it with um, modern times but uh, um, and yeah we pop back to the visor cam you definitely can see there is a glow happening inside um, inside that crater and uh, we'll pop back over to the other close-up cam and um, we definitely can see it so it's going to be a matter of time before it actually starts uh, popping out and uh, I'm kind of wanting to get back to that chart myself see if uh, there's any change in it um, if there is maybe we'll print it up here again but uh, no I don't see anything well it is changed a little bit the uh, the very bottom end there you can see some of it is actually starting to come up um, but it is coming up from way down low. So um, let me see if I can get that uh, saved as well and uh, uh, maybe, maybe shoot that for you guys. And uh, let's see, what are we going to call that one? Okay, we'll call it that. And uh, I will split the frame, uh, sp split it and see if I can load that up for you. And should be right there. And uh, maybe I'll just add it to the other one. We'll toggle back and forth between them so we can see the difference. Uh, I need to get up one level. And in there. Okay. All right. So having the uh, two charts and the charts are now on top of each other I will uh, do this and get it back live and um, okay so what we do see here uh, we do see some uptick right on that blue uh, at the very bottom and uh, that's what I'm referring to is uh, that area right there 
I gotta change the color on this. Hang on. We gotta make that like red or something. There we go. Uh, so clear that and do that again. So you can see it uh, right there. There we go. That's a little more visible. And uh, so that looks like it is going to start to kick up. We see the green one is on an upward angle, um, but our uh, very low frequency, uh, low frequency earthquakes, or uh, what is it, uh, EFL, or sorry, E, uh, is it EF? No, I did that completely backwards. Dyslexia got me. LFE. There we go. Uh, low frequency earthquakes um, it, that showed it's actually going down but I'm hoping that's going to start to go that way with the rest of the guys so hopefully it's going to uh, go up there fairly quickly and with this you never know what happens alrighty uh, get back to uh, a screen that shows something and uh, not too much or there yeah this one's alright Anyway, uh, for those who um, didn't know, yesterday we did get the uh, the new 3D uh, chart up and uh, or 3D map, and uh, we'll we'll pop onto that one right away as well. Uh, Stephen Foster, uh, the purple line does uh, did not drop uh, as far this cycle. Yes, you're absolutely right. Uh, it didn't go down that far, but I'm wondering. Uh, if it's going to go uh, down a little bit further so uh, or if it's actually heading up uh, Lady Justice is in the house so welcome Lady Justice um, who else uh, James Gipe Gipe thumbs up thank you uh, James Gipe Gipe uh, also uh, Laura Rennie is, uh, is here as well and let's see who else did I miss uh, going south of course is uh, in the house and we've got uh, B1, uh, Bra I guess that's Braveheart, Bra uh, B1 Raveheart. <laughs> uh, audit that volcano. Yeah, we'd like to audit it. Um, but, you know, that's that's actually Siggy's job, I think. Uh, Brian Crown also in the house. Uh, welcome. Uh, Kananaskis Country uh, popped in as well. So uh, all good. Uh, glad to have you here. And did I miss anyone else that uh, popped in, like Don Arnold? Aloha, and uh, good to see you again. Uh, oh, we got Eddie. Oh, uh, sorry, Eddie Astero. Uh, got that one out that time, and uh, welcome for joining us tonight as well. Uh, Vicky H also in the house. I'm uh, just going up to those names that I might have missed earlier. So uh, good to see all you guys popping in here. And uh, did I get anybody else that uh, was just moving along here? I'm just looking, looking, looking. Uh, Madcap also back. Uh, good to see you, Madcap. Uh, Tom Flynn also popped in. So uh, good thing I'm going through the list. I see uh, a few people that uh, didn't see before. Uh, Body Void uh, also in the house. Um, uh, let's see, uh, what's CID, okay, or CID, what's CID, all right, uh, glad to have you on board, and uh, who, did I miss anyone else, I got Leo Carlson, okay, I think I got most of you guys, if I did miss you, I didn't call your name out, don't panic, um, I'm sure if you chat some more and I, I see it, I will say something and say hi to you at least. And of course today, uh, because we started the stream uh, about 20 minutes late, um, I feel kind of bad, but uh, things happened. Uh, it wasn't the work so much. Uh, I got out of the work uh, on time, but uh, uh, going down the highway, there was some uh, unexpected uh, paving going on uh, in uh, three locations. <laughs> <laughs> the first one cost me about 20 minutes um, and uh, they were moving some very heavy machinery around and uh, then I thought oh you know great uh, I'm going to be 10-15 minutes late and then uh, of course it got stopped by the uh, the next one 
and I thought oh boy this is really fun so I uh, tried to um, make up some time by stepping on the gas a little bit and uh, uh, that was to no avail uh, after uh, about uh, 30 minutes uh, ran into another one of these uh, very very um, large uh, construction sites that they had going on they were repaving about uh, 10 miles or uh, about 15 16 kilometers worth and uh, that took a little bit of time so uh, let's see Douglas Anderson uh, what are the chances some uh, someone has a live drone flying around uh, well I I know they wouldn't have a dead drone flying around but a live one would be interesting at this time of night though um, out there because it is uh, like 15 minutes after uh, uh, after midnight uh, I don't know if uh, flying at night is all that um, smart <laughs> um, I know you're not gonna hit in hit any aircraft or anything or not likely maybe the occasional UFO or something but um, I don't know if anybody be uh, flying around there they could be somebody could be um, doing some videos or something Sandra Rockland uh, sounds like Minnesota we have two seasons winter and road construct well yeah that's our place winter and construction that's that's our seasons so uh, you, you have exactly the same thing in Minnesota <laughs> only our winters are slightly longer than yours okay <laughs> so uh, any crack news on those cracks lately I'm uh, Paul hey like I said I'm uh, without knowledge today because of being busy busy I had no time to look at anything before uh, before the stream a matter of fact I I still had my boots on when I was firing the stream up so I uh, got those work boots off and got changed all that on my last little break um, so yeah yeah we're, we're looking for crack news anybody have any crack news updates on the crack uh, so uh, we're looking for uh, for real uh, real crack information uh, that really cracks me up uh, the truth uh, no poly cracks oh crackers ah okay okay Paul yeah we'll just keep an eye uh, there might be somebody there that has some uh, some interesting crack information or or something uh, <laughs> we'll see uh, see how that goes uh, let's see what else we got going on um, okay cheese yeah cheese and crackers uh, there you go DJ and I did that just for you DJ got you your your cheese I think it was you that asked for that uh, Thor watching Raggy seems quiet uh, on what on new moon yeah I don't think it's quite new moon I think that uh, we got a a kind of a thumbnail moon right now I'm not sure I again I <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in uh, in la la land where uh, I didn't get any information uh, all work and no play makes for a dull boy yeah you bet truth and uh, it really really was uh, a lot of work today and no breaks in between I was trying to hustle to keep everything going and uh, I uh, got like I said I got my work done I thought okay I'm gonna make it in time for the stream or very close and uh, we wouldn't have uh, any issues uh, oh no no Paul don't show us that crack we don't want that <laughs> Uh, I have a crack offer uh, coming up uh, out of uh, uh, Albuquerque. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, uh, if you want to look at that. Uh, okay, Kim uh, Lambert says uh, uh, DK in New York uh, filmed the lava pool. If you want, uh, want to have a look at that. I will have a look at that and see what I can do uh, to get that up on the screen and uh, if we can have a, a quick shot um, 
and uh, of course uh, DK uh, in New York did say uh, go f go for it uh, use what you like and uh, I will uh, I will take his words to heed and uh, we just don't want to do too much of his stuff uh, because I do want you guys to go over and subscribe now he has been building his channel very very well um, I think he had uh, 1200 or 1300 subscribers it's it's growing like mad when uh, he first started he had uh, very very few uh linda M ml says guten tag film the lava pool also okay uh that's uh, very cool uh thanks uh, linda and uh i will uh, i will have a look at that i'm going to uh do about five more minutes then i'm going to take that break and i'll see if i can get that uh, that material loaded up it would be very interesting and uh, we will have a look at it uh frosty we love lava uh, lava yeah okay we lava yeah we love the lava d2m is in the house uh, good to see you again um oh guten tag filmed uh, the lava out of um uh, meridalia valley or okay value <laughs> okay i got it uh autocorrect gotcha uh no problem uh thanks uh, lady justice uh okay i'm gonna maybe i'm gonna take off here for uh for a few minutes uh, on that break and uh we will work on uh trying to uh, uh find the uh the lavaly goodness that is flowing out so um anyway we're gonna check on that pool and then we will also see if uh, i can find out what uh a uh, uh, guten tag hat there and uh, maybe uh, do that so don't you guys go away uh, stick around i know it's a dark screen maybe i'll uh, put it on to oh i was gonna try to refresh that other one before i did that um yeah things were things were buzzing and circling and not uh, not working so well and i think we might have that going again uh, no we don't that other one is still uh still stuck so i will see what i can do i think maybe we'll leave it on uh on this one here and then um yeah we'll leave it right there and i will go see what i can muster up for you guys and don't go away keep smiling keep playing nice uh, hit that like button if you haven't done that yet subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and we will see if i can uh, find us a lava pool uh, don't go away i'll be back in about five minutes or so
Okay, guys and girls, I got the microphone back on and uh, trying not to scare anyone too bad. Uh, let's see, while I was on break, I was trying to uh, watch uh, several videos really quickly. And uh, I did uh, kind of watch the one that um, uh, Guten Tag had uh, posted. Uh, a little tough to uh, kind of get the orientation if you're trying to go through it too quickly. Um, but I did get the gist of it, and it appears that it is uh, on the uh, northeast end of uh, of the valley there. But uh, looking at that, it's still that that's a little higher area, and uh, we watch the, these drainage ditches that are going in there. I can't show it because I don't have his permission. But um, unfortunately, I don't see. Uh, uh, too much uh, having pushed up because that has to get up uh, over that 150 uh, meter mark or uh, whatever it was. I will uh, go look at that uh, in the uh, 3D map right away for you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, DJ Puff uh, asked, is uh, D uh, Dan Hurd the long lost member of ZZ Top? Well, it was only uh, three in the band all the time, and one of them just passed away recently, so I don't know. Maybe he's a contender to be a replacement. Uh, he's a little bit younger than those guys, you know. Um, they're all in their 70s and stuff, and uh, I think Dan's only uh, just somewhere around 40-ish uh, something. So um, don't know exactly, uh, but uh, anyway, I'm going to try to um, get that 3D map up. Uh, real quick here uh, first actually maybe what we'll do is we'll push the other one uh, live uh, the other map that we have from our uh, uh, professor there and let's see if we can uh, find this man I got too many windows open again uh, and I wanted to go into this end so it appears, uh, and this is probably the better example, so it appears that this area has all, this here has really been scorched and uh, that the lava flow has gone up here a little bit more. So um, this area is a little bit higher over here, so I'm not sure how far it will proceed to get up there. Um, it may push. I did not see anything on this side. And, uh, oh, I got to, whoa, I did it wrong there. Um, if we're looking here, I, I didn't see anything in the video uh, from there, but I may be wrong, uh, and we didn't see anything here either. So um, it's probably, uh, probably this material that they're referring to. But as you see, this, this is a 150 meter level here, and that's depicted by this line. And I don't think it's uh, it's reached that. Um, and you see over, uh, if we slide down just a little bit, you actually see that this is actually a little bit lower. Um, this is the 150 mark, and then uh, we step down a bit. So I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't see anything in that video to, to push it out. Um, but hey, it's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get some more info from uh, others as uh, things progress. So hopefully we will uh, we'll see what's going on, and yeah, that uh, that glow definitely is still visible on the uh, um, cam here. On the this is the uh, uh, visor cam. That's it. Uh, so we got the the lava pool uh, right over on this side, and uh, and of course we have some glow here. And I'm wondering if this glow here, uh, if we have a new exit underneath here somewhere uh, pushing the lava out um, that could be a possibility I do not know uh, do you see uh, uh, okay what uh, Leo no uh, DK has not popped in here um, he knows about the stream and uh, I've talked to him uh, several times with messages in uh, his uh, comments, that kind of thing, uh, on a bunch of his videos. <laughs> and uh, 
Uh, so, but no, he, he's not popped over, and uh, I don't know, he's too busy flying around and doing things, and uh, maybe one day we can get, uh, get him in here uh, fairly quick uh, and see uh, if he's got uh, any good words of wisdom for us. I think his, his thing is to go out and uh, fly his drone and crash it once in a while. Uh, status quo also on the house. Uh, glad to see a status quo. Been watching, but uh, okay. Uh, howdy, uh, Dr. Fox and Arizona Snowman. Thanks uh, for popping in status quo. I also see Kitty Cat uh, is in here and welcome. Uh, Bent Cop also back as well. Uh, uh, Ascendor81. I think I might have mentioned you earlier, but uh, welcome anyway. Uh, let's see, uh, we also have uh, Liam, uh, Darcy, or Dorsey, uh, sorry, uh, got that back. Uh, who else popped in here? There was Professor F uh, Fate, uh, ZZ Top used to have a live Texas Longhorn Steer and a Buffalo on stage. I didn't know they had the live <laughs> animals on stage. That's pretty awesome. Uh, thank you. Uh, going south has got a lot of numbers there. Facial hair prize. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Dan Hurd had to uh, cut off that big, long beard he had. Uh, he had uh, a very, very long, long beard. And, and, you know, if you pop them up on stage with ZZ Top you probably not uh, be able to uh, tell the difference other than the fact that I don't think Dan knows how to play any instruments. Uh, he's good at go hunting for gold, though, and uh, I really did enjoy the uh, the other one that he had when he was out on Vancouver Island um, when they went uh, fossil hunting with that crazy guy. Um, I thought that was excellent, and uh, I hate to say it, but I've met the crazy guy. I uh, just can't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a while back uh, so uh, the guy really does know uh, his fossils and uh, pretty cool and that was out on Vancouver Island when they were out uh, out doing that so uh, was in here uh, what the, uh, he was in here while I was on my break oh man I missed him I hope he's still in here uh, DK Kenny or DK in New York, uh, are you still uh, in in the chat? If you are, uh, just say hi, and um, I uh, hope that you're making more videos, um, especially of uh, Meridalia. <laughs> We're curious what's happening down in the uh, uh, the the eastern side of it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see uh, what there is. So, uh, let's see, uh, I've been to Vancouver uh, City, but uh, not to the island, uh, says Mark Bass. Okay, uh, yeah, um, and Siggy, you're absolutely right. Uh, DK in New York has got excellent, excellent videos. I really, really uh, enjoy that. And uh, yeah, we do thank him for sharing them with us and uh, um, really do enjoy uh, watching uh, what he's got. I'm I'm a little worried though that he's uh, he crashed his drone there, but he he was really lucky that uh, that it made it over to the land before it came down, uh, because that would have been uh, a real humdinger had it landed out on the lava, and uh, really good to to see. Uh, ZZ Top were not uh, gender confused. <laughs> Going south, you're absolutely right. Uh, very, very true. And um, all good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kitty Cat. Uh, love the color right now. Yeah, we do. Uh, I just wish it would light up a little bit more there, uh, uh, Kitty Cat. It really, really would be nice. Uh, uh, watch the intensity change between the two red glows. And you know that is very noticeable and uh, right now you can see a little bit more glow uh, happening in the crater than we do on the other side um, but I'm still kind of curious and wondering is there uh, 
a hole in there and some of that lovely lava is leaking out uh, on the uh, the north side of the cone um, you know that's something that uh, uh, we wish we had eyes on it so uh, DK uh, get out there and uh, have have a look at it <laughs> charge those batteries up though before you do it uh, I'm kidding it's too dark and too dangerous don't do it please uh, we need your videos during the daytime uh, let's see Victoria is the capital of the province of Alberta or a uh, province of British Columbia yes absolutely uh, Don Arnold and you're right and Vancouver is the biggest city uh, just like here uh, in Alberta Edmonton is the capital of uh, Alberta and uh, Calgary is actually uh, larger uh, than Edmonton and uh, Calgary of course where they had the Olympics and the stampede and stuff like that we don't have any mountains here so we can't have like Olympics and good things um, besides the city council and people like that I don't know they uh, they're too concerned about lowering the speed limits and and uh, setting up photo radar cams at every intersection so they catch people and, and uh, steal the money from the people rather than uh, uh, educating them in uh, how to drive um, that's the one thing that really bothers me you know they want to lower the speed limit they say oh that'll keep everyone safer less noise and stuff and I keep going well hang on you lowered the speed limit but have you taught anyone how how to drive <laughs> and uh, basically the answer is no <laughs> you know so they're they're investing in, in all these signs and, and again it's it's basically a, a money grab uh, from the police department and uh, we don't uh, uh, don't don't uh, get anyone uh, really educated and I think that is um, uh, yeah Zoe it is it is one of those things you know but it's just like the bicycle lanes when they put them in they didn't uh, educate anyone they just started plunking them everywhere and uh, now we're forced to uh, stop for bicycles where we never had to before and uh, they get to uh, run amok <laughs> uh, you know uh, it just makes no sense to me but anyway that's all politics and I'm gonna stay away from that sorry guys kind of off target here I don't remember uh, which drone I watched uh, flying over Nethagi uh, towards the farm uh, but was noticing a lot of cracks in the soil along uh, Diane that probably was uh, that was probably uh, DK uh, that was uh, that one because he he did fly over towards the um, that farm area uh, he also had uh, some very good shots and I never realized there were some pretty heavy duty cliffs uh, over on the uh, kind of southeast end there um, where all those birds were that was very interesting to see so uh, lots of lots of fun um, so it's worthwhile watching those videos so if you haven't done that yet um, I can probably uh, uh, get his um, link up here for you if I can find it real quick uh, of course uh, of course now YouTube hides it on me ah it's the way it works uh, there we go and uh, yeah, so I've got his channel link here. Uh, copy, click on here. And uh, so if you guys haven't gone over and uh, don't know the link, uh, I will paste it uh, in the uh, channel. Uh, New York, okay. And uh, this is the, uh, the link to... Uh, uh, DK in New York and uh, I will pin that up to the top for now and uh, if you guys uh, want to uh, pop over there and have a look at some of those videos they are really really uh, excellent videos also uh, those who haven't looked at Gutentag's pages uh, he's got some awesome stuff on his as well uh, including uh, the uh, the latest and greatest of uh, where some of that lava flow may have uh, come out up on the very northeast end um, but I, I think it's going to kind of stall out there and we probably see uh, 
a little bit more coming uh, uh, to the east uh, in a while. Uh, Dream of a Hive, Guten Talk has a great nine minute video on Meridalia. Yeah, I was watching that during my break. And uh, it's the one that was, uh, we'll, uh, we'll put him in there too, but the, uh, I'll, uh, I'll copy uh, that and uh, we'll uh, paste uh, his back in there. Oh, uh, all right. Let's see what we got going here. Uh, oh, live stream. There we go. I was trying to get to the right page here, so uh, let me uh, type that in. Uh, okay, and this is uh, Grudentog's uh, latest video there, so I'm not going to pin that one, but if you haven't gone looked at it, that's the one where he shows uh, Meridalia, um, and it's pretty interesting. Sadly, Meridalia's side camera seems to be uh, vogged and dark and uh, darked out. Yes, James, uh, you're right, or Jed, um, definitely notice that. Good night, everyone. Uh, pain meds kicking in and getting sleepy. Uh, adulting is hard. Uh, you take care, Heather, and um, hopefully uh, you're okay. Uh, get some rest, and it is hard. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad having, you know, uh, gone through that, I, I don't need to worry about it anymore. Lady Justice says, uh, there was a great deal of new lava in that haggy today. Um, the right side is uh, getting quite high. Uh, okay, um, I did kind of want to peek at that. And uh, I know there was some material down there and... Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, locate that uh, feed and uh, possibly uh, go backwards with it a little bit and um, see if we can see some daylight and see how it looks. Uh, okay. And actually, there is, a, when you go back, uh, there is a very noticeable increase in lava height. Uh, I definitely see that. Uh, so let me get that on the screen here. I'm just going, uh, going to uh, describe that because um, there it is. Okay, so what we were seeing before, and I'm actually going to draw on here. Uh, remember this was right here? This was lifted up quite a ways. Uh, it now seems to be like it's part of the, uh, the lava material. And uh, this definitely has shrunken a little bit. Uh, and I wish I had uh, yesterday or day before's picks to be able to compare it to, but uh, this area here definitely has changed and increased in height uh, just a bit. So thank you for pointing that out, Lady Justice. I was also uh, looking over here, and uh, I thought this moved a little bit too. I thought it was uh, just back a little. So um, we do have something flowing in there, it's just it's doing it possibly through lava tubes and we are not seeing it as well as we should be able to but anyway that was uh, from earlier in the day if we move ahead a little bit um, don't see too much uh, and uh, going a little bit further ahead it gets really dark so um, yeah and you know we don't see the uh, the lava coming down I wish we could uh, but we do see lights up there, like this guy here. So, he's progressively getting down. I guess he's the star of the valley or something. Uh, check the, uh, via the 3D map. Uh, check that. Okay. Uh, well, the 3D map isn't go is not up to uh, date or very uh, close to being up to date. It's a few days out now, all right? So, um, but we can possibly do that um, just to uh, go back over there. I just wanted to pop back over to the volcano for a second. I did notice it was a little bit more glow to it uh, while I was popping around. I see the lava workers are still running around on the, uh, the ground there. And uh, uh, it seems we're getting um, a little bit of a 
exhaust or smoke, fog, fog, whatever you want to call it, coming uh, in slightly a different direction because before it was heading to the north and now it looks like it's heading more eastish. Uh, but yeah, there we can see actually it is starting to glow up a little bit more and I'm hoping it will continue to do that. Anyway, guys, I am going to take another little bit of a break here. So please uh, don't go away. Um, keep smiling. Keep uh, being good guys. And uh, I will uh, go take that little bit of a break. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button yet, consider doing that. Also, uh, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, we do stream. Uh, we're trying to stream daily, but... What's going to happen, and I think I'm going to get into that a little bit more tomorrow. Um, on the weekend, I am going to uh, shorten my stream timing um, because I need time to get things ready. And if I'm doing two four-hour streams, uh, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, Saturday I also have to get my shot. I have to go do a bunch of shopping, and I'm just not going to have any time uh, for doing that um, because the shopping hours are when the stream is on you know and that's the problem things close up uh, in the evenings and you you have zero selection and uh, I don't want to be put out uh, plus I need to uh, you know make sure I've got all my ducks lined up if you know what I'm saying so uh, we're going to work on that I'm going to kind of figure that out by tomorrow and uh, we'll let you know on tomorrow's stream but for right now, I am going to run a little bit longer because I started late. So fear not. Uh, don't go away yet. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And I appreciate uh, all of you uh, being here and sticking around. So uh, don't go away. Keep smiling. And uh, I will be back in about five or six minutes. And maybe we'll uh, see if we can find something new. Thanks, guys.
Okay, guys and girls, I got the microphone back on. Figured I'd get back in here real quick and uh, make sure that we uh, we don't lose all of you. <laughs> and uh, um, I know it's getting late in Europe. A lot of people are already uh, packing it in and uh, getting some sleep. And uh, we probably have uh, a lot of our North American people are still in here. So all good. Uh, Nancy Buchanan, uh, lovely level. I'm late to the party again. Nancy Buchanan, it is the way it is. You know, I was late getting here myself, so I know the feeling. Uh, David Ross, uh, also in the house. Uh, good to have you back. Uh, uh, let's see, Miss uh, Lobo Bob also popped in here. Uh, good to see you as well. Uh, let's see, uh, Shane Leslie Madison also here. Glad to see you uh, for for the end portion of our uh, stream. So I'm going to do about 20 more minutes here. And uh, then uh, we're probably going to get uh, to the point where we need to shut down. But uh, hoping this thing will kick in fairly quick. I also see, uh, let's see, Duke Romeo also popped, uh, popped in. Uh, Bloxy Man 22 uh, good to see you guys and uh, let's see who else might have popped in there uh, going up I don't see friend is here I think I might have mentioned him earlier so you guys are crazy cray or cray cray okay are they really that bad <laughs> uh, okay who's talking about Planet X well I don't have Planet X here um, but it'd be interesting to see. To see. Uh, let's see. Who I seen somebody else in here I didn't see before. Where'd that name go? Uh, we got Kananaskis Country. Oh, uh, kind of precise. Uh, welcome. Uh, glad to have you on board. And uh, let's see. Uh, Michael uh, also back in here. Alfonso, uh, welcome. Uh, Let's see, who else have we got that I missed? Anyway, glad to see you guys in here and really appreciate you uh, popping in for today. Uh, and uh, I did start uh, our stream a little bit on the late side, so uh, everything is good. Oh, Rick Engineer also popped in. Good to see you. I'm here. Uh, how is everybody? We're doing okay. Uh, it's been a trying day. Uh, Tony says thank you for your stream tonight uh, hope your day is much better tomorrow I hope so too <laughs> uh, uh, tomorrow there are a few musts that I have to do hey Rob RLC uh, good evening uh, sent you uh, satellite uh, false collar thermal image uh, from this afternoon uh, over uh, the site ah okay uh, I'll see maybe I can get that on here real quick if I can uh, open up um, a browser window of some sort uh, where do I gotta do that I gotta do that over here and uh, oh boy that's always hard to get over there let's see um, Discord sign in thingy. Okay, we'll see if we get in there. And that'll open up. Open Discord. And uh, of course, that wants to get in everything in the way. So I need to move to a new tab and move it over there so I can see it. And close that out. And uh, Rob RLC, oh, okay. Uh, all right, a lot of cloud in there. Okay, let's uh, see if I can click on it, click the original, and see if I can save that, and then we can maybe show it. Uh, of course, it comes up as an unknown picture. I guess it didn't have a title or something. Okay. Uh, set image. And save that. And uh, see if I can get uh, that on the screen. Thanks, Rob. 
we will see if uh, I can pop that on there before I do that though I wanted to uh, put this latest uh, satellite shot on here or not the satellite the uh, tremor map or tremor charge Ugh. boy having troth mobiles today I'll tell you um, okay so yeah we see you know like I said the uh, the low um, frequency earthquakes are heading down and our uh, higher frequencies are going up which is really really kind of odd um, something is working against the forces there uh, but while that is up on the screen I will see if I can load this other one up and um, open it up get into there get into here and uh, find it find it what did I just name it okay there sat image I found it okay hopefully that will work okay I guess I gotta remove the other stuff so yeah the um, this was one that Rob sent in so it kind of gives you a, a pretty good uh, show of where the material f uh, was flowing and um, that was from earlier today so that's actually pretty cool and uh, I pushed it live come on there we go uh, so that's kind of a neat looking shot and uh, yeah too bad we had a little bit of cloud on the uh, the other side there uh, would have been nice to see uh, if it was hot material in the um, the northeast end um, where that uh, flow supposedly came out so I'm going to see if we can kind of draw on that so yeah that under uh, right here it's under the clouds um, and I was expecting more flow coming out here so uh, interesting very interesting um, needed a break so I've been working hard okay uh, all right so yeah that that's actually yeah, very cool you definitely see the uh, the flow and uh, I'm wondering in this one if this is where we were seeing that brighter image uh, right here um, or in that area or if it's actually this this batch here and we know that's a pool uh, that second arrow that I just uh, pointed to so if I clear that off and uh, maybe we'll use yellow instead uh, for color and uh, so I'm thinking what happened I said yellow for color yellow mellow yellow clear there we go um, so that pool there I think is what we were seeing glowing because uh, there is a lot of lava sitting there so um, okay dr. Fox the lower circle uh, is where there is a six meter uh, three days ago uh, the lava will go uh, east and uh, this one here yeah this is what I'm thinking it's going to come out here and then flow downward um, that that other area over here um, that's a little bit higher land so I don't know uh, I don't know what happened in this area um, you know if it had actually flowed out of there uh, that would be nice. Uh, maybe I'll have to take a look at some more of the uh, the videos today and see what's going on. But uh, uh, pretty cool. Thanks, Rob, for sending that image. Uh, appreciate it. And uh, back to our volcano. And uh, let's see. Um, no further east. Oh, uh, hang on. If we compare that, uh, maybe I did get it wrong. because this is the uh, right here this was the outline kind of here so 
of Marindalia, right? And then this over here is where we seen those, that little, uh, I guess I should have made that a little thinner there. Something like that. Uh, you're saying a little further east, Siggy, or lower, uh, lower down? Uh, the material down on this end or uh, I'm gonna do it this way okay uh, one two and three <laughs> uh, that's the easiest way uh, middle of the line east okay um, uh, up there <laughs> Okay, so one, two, or three. Uh, hopefully that'll uh, that'll get them going. Okay, uh, middle, uh, middle two, and winner. Okay, so uh, if it's flowed a little further east, yeah. Um, I didn't see that in in the Guten Tag video that I was looking at. We seen more uh, going up there, but if if it has in fact come uh, come out here and uh, started flowing this way. Um, let's just pop over to the uh, 3D map for a second and kind of make a little bit of a comparison and uh, since somebody wanted to see that anyway and uh, I will grab that and move it over and uh, so you're figuring it's uh, oh I gotta be on this side you're figuring it came out uh, out here and went went something like that um, is that uh, just about right, Siggy? Um, it would have covered that trail up, or that's where it's going to end up being uh, being out there, because this definitely here would be a a kind of a a place where this would fan out, I would think. Um, this was from the Icelandic geologists that were standing uh, uh, in the open, uh, and they said. That uh, this is the next uh, exit okay so yeah and I would uh, would think so uh, it would be pretty cool um, I'm just wondering if we can uh, pop to the original uh, guesstimate chart that they had uh, from way back when uh, let me see if I can get that one on the screen um, but I'll put you back to um, the volcano here see if it's glowing a little more and uh, then I'll try uh, putting that back to uh, that original guesstimate map that they uh, came out with way way back when in April and uh, I do believe um, that kind of sh yo I had it there it is um, so yeah this one uh, <clears throat> It's coming up on the screen, so give me a sec. Okay, there we go. And uh, all right, so uh, okay, I don't know what. Um, anyway, train of thought is, is, is here, yeah, where you see it, it was actually, uh, uh, it will make more sense, uh, where the lava is going, okay, thanks, Lady Justice, I will do that, so, like, this was the original guesstimate as to where the lava would flow, so, um, and, of course, up here in the very top, you can see what they were depicting, uh, here, that that level uh, or area is at 150 meters and then you have in here the valley floor was at 133 and then uh, uh, it's a lot lower here it's at 130 right so um, and then of course we're we're going downhill here I think that's 127 126 as we're going down so you can definitely see that there was some uh, potential for flow to go that way um, some of these other numbers you know 106 uh, 10, uh, 103 uh, 106 here so it definitely could uh, go that way uh, looks like uh, their guesstimate was correct 
absolutely um, it looks pretty good on that side um, the other potential still exists though for this to um, get overrun and it depends what happens here of course right and uh, how that outflow continues so if it continues going into Meridalia, um we may not see anything coming out of uh, this area down in the bottom here where the berm is uh, that berm may be high enough and that'll save that area so then the uh, the highway question of course would be somewhere down here that's what you'd have to watch out for in the future and that would kind of potentially leave the uh, the farm uh, the old farmstead in uh, a good place um, and uh, it may survive it, depending on how long this thing goes you know if uh, if it goes for another 20 years um, I, it doesn't matter whether it came out of the east side first uh, or uh, breaches the uh, the berm on the south end um, it will eventually fill everything up so that's pretty uh, pretty interesting um, okay Rob uh, send another image here uh, showing yesterday and I'm gonna try to see if I can get that uh, enlarged and then uh, save it um, where is that oh that's got a letter P uh, what was the other one called just so I don't mess it up uh, okay now I can't find the other one darn it okay all right I don't see the other one real quick offhand so obviously I buried it um, okay sat image okay and that'll help me find it otherwise I won't be able to find the darn thing okay um, minimize that go over here and see if we can load that up real quick for you guys and uh, then we'll see uh, We'll go around one more time and see what uh, what's going on and then after that I think I'm going to uh, have to get off of here because I do have to go do bunny duty and all that nice stuff um, that is still uh, part of uh, my good old uh, work that I need to do here uh, so all right we'll get rid of that one sad image remove and add the other one from yesterday And that had the letter P in front of it, so that was this one. All right. So, yeah, this was apparently from uh, from yesterday. If it'll push live, uh, Maui me, you're welcome. And uh, we got that. Uh, that's all good. So. Yeah, so this one was apparently from yesterday. So uh, interesting to see. And uh, let's see if I can. All right, what's going on? Why is my computer revving? Uh, I hope I didn't lock up here. No, I'm still moving. And I see my mic. Uh, mic is moving, so I can't, couldn't have locked up. Why is it not allowing me to swing? Oh, there. Okay, it's switching. So yeah, that's a little bit different. Um, yesterday you had a lot more uh, hot spots there, um, bigger lava pools. So that's probably what uh, pushed some of that lava out, uh, which is um, interesting to see. And hopefully in uh, the next couple of days, we will see even more from that. So um, probably when I'm out there, I will be able to uh, peruse that uh, east side um, and I do want to uh, fly um, my drone do and do a perimeter check if you will um, of that area specifically uh, because I'm very very curious um, where the low-lying uh, land is there and it'll be interesting to uh, be able to at least get the videos out I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, 
uh, well, we won't be able to stream that live from that point because that is too low uh, low down and I don't think I'll be able to um, get over there to do camera views but I will be on the other side um, on the uh, western side and uh, will be interesting to see uh, what we can uh, get done uh, it will be cool to check out uh, things uh, we have uh, questions about absolutely uh, and that's something that uh, is going to be really neat because you know being on site there um, I can take a look at a few of those things and uh, work with it um, now also just just still want to remind everyone it's going to be a slightly different format while uh, while I'm out there I'm not doing the full-blown um, multi-screen image um, due to the fact that uh, I'm going to be limited in resources uh, so um, I did the test last night on the laptop and to see um, and I basically had it cranked up to see if uh, I would be able to do at least one solid hour with uh, a reasonable load on the laptop in uh, with the streaming software and it actually did so I'm hoping uh, we can get an hour and a half out of a stream out of one charge and uh, that would really really be good and it all depends on how much uh, stuff I hook up to the laptop to drain that battery um, so it's going to be uh, cool and interesting uh, you'll be our reporter in the field yes Jason Slater and um, it's going to be interesting to do this uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to um, actually it's, it's going to be interesting because I'm going to be doing some spontaneous uh, streams as well so uh, the first couple will be um, kind of weird uh, because I'll just pop on and, and go for it um, so if you happen to see uh, like on on Tuesday when I'm there uh, on my first day uh, I don't know how much streaming I'm gonna do um, I do want to uh, uh, get um, the aerial footage of uh, the perimeter um, that would be my goal I'm hoping that things uh, are going to be good weather will be all right uh, and that kind of thing um, Douglas why are you saying sorry you don't have to be sorry what did you do did you hurt somebody oh oh you messed that name up I see it now <laughs> uh, talk to the local volcano University if possible and uh, okay and time allowed okay um, yeah that would be uh, cool um, I would uh, would love to do that so it's going to be interesting it will be interesting so uh, anyway I am at the time where I figured I was going to um, uh, drop off here we've got two hours and three minutes showing on the the clock um, do appreciate all those people who have hit the like button tonight uh, if you haven't done that yet and you did like what you've seen please consider hitting that as well also uh, if you have not subscribed to this uh, channel yet uh, please uh, consider bopping that Fox and setting that up so you guys can uh, uh, find it when I do go live um, that notification bell really helps so um, like I said these are going to be uh, uh, spontaneous um, for the first few and uh, hopefully it it makes sense for you guys because I have to kind of get the lay of the land first and see how the signals are so my first streams will likely be with just using my cell phone and I will stream directly from the cell phone uh, so there won't be any of the fancy stuff no switching screens and anything like that uh, so um, we're gonna try that um, and it depends on where I am um, I do have to consider like if I'm gonna climb up on Big Ram um, I don't want to be schlepping uh, the laptop and everything else up there with all the other stuff I mean I could take the drone I could take the cell phone and I can take a couple little cameras but uh, um, uh, streaming the uh, 
with the laptop is, is going to be another adventure altogether, right? So uh, I'm still working on some things. So um, as I mentioned, uh, Saturday, uh, we're going to change the time a little bit on the stream. So instead of uh, starting the stream at 12 noon Mountain Daylight Time, which is 2 p.m. Uh, um, Eastern or uh, 1800 uh, Icelandic uh, or UTC, uh, I'm going to probably uh, uh, start at uh, 4 p.m. And this way I will get a little bit more uh, for the uh, Europeans uh, instead of starting at 5 like a regular stream. Um, but I'll start at 4 and we'll go from there, but only run for two hours. So that's on Saturday. Tomorrow, of course, and it is already Friday the 13th in uh, a lot of places. In Iceland, it's already Friday the 13th. So please uh, know that. <laughs> uh, if you're superstitious, uh, I'm not really too uh, worried about Friday the 13th. I'm uh, more conscientious of 666, the number of the beast. Uh, I'm kidding, guys. Uh, it's all fun. Uh, Brian Crown, uh, thank you, and Dr. Fox and all. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the mods, uh, the mod crew, yeah, absolutely. Uh, good, uh, good guys, those mods and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you, uh, everyone. Thank you to the mods. Uh, thank you. A hey, truth throws in a two dollar super chat, uh, or sorry, two pound super chat. Thank you, doctor, uh, for bacon, uh, for your bacon stream and uh, we'll definitely give it a shot uh have a great night uh, doc uh, looking forward to tomorrow's stream and yes i am too i'm hoping that uh, this thing is going to be cooking the right way uh Thendis, uh because that uh, that always brings out a little bit more uh of the uh the material we need and that is uh the bacon going down the hills right so hopefully everything will be good uh, and in the meantime, you guys all take care. And uh, if you do happen to see some spontaneous, uh, and I kind of mentioned this yesterday, watch out for spontaneous live streams that are happening um, maybe in the evening here tonight. Uh, I will be doing a little bit more testing, so I will be going live uh, publicly probably just to, uh, just to try it and mess around a little bit and uh, kind of get some things set up. Uh, I already got a pretty good idea what the phone itself will do because I've done that before, but running the, the phone uh, as my hotspot um, to run the laptop through it is going to be the other adventure. So, um, and I know it works, it's just uh, I need to know how well it works, okay? So um, it's going to be interesting, and it's all a learning, uh, a learning opportunity here, if you will. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, now I have that uh, message up there for uh, DK in NY or uh, DK in New York. Um, if you uh, haven't uh, looked at his videos yet, please do consider that, and uh, I will replace that link right away, though, with. Uh, uh, one that I think will be uh, advantageous for you uh, if you want to see some more lava goodness tonight. And um, we will uh, uh, put Talk Air Iceland. Uh, we'll actually replace that link at the top. And I'll leave that up there for you guys. And you can uh, pop over to uh, Talk's channel and uh, have a look there. And uh, go from there and see... Uh, because this thing still hasn't spit out any lava, so I will post that and then replace that link. Okay, so uh, the, uh, there we go. All right, so that switched that link around. Uh, so you now have Talk Air Iceland up there at the top uh, in the blue. And uh, if you uh, right click on that, you can always uh, get over there real quick, or actually you just left click on it, then, then right click on the link itself and uh, that will certainly work out for you. Uh, Juliana, I didn't uh, say hi to you. I just wanted to say hi. Uh, also, William Lines, 
um, welcome and uh, have a good night everyone and uh, yeah uh, DK in New York channel equals good stuff you bet uh, going south um, very very good stuff and I see he's actually at about uh, 1.9 K for subscribers when uh, when he first started doing these he was uh, I can't remember how many subscribers he had not very many <laughs> almost uh, enough that we could count them on our fingers and toes and uh, uh, we'd have to multiply it by two but uh, uh, he's really grown his channel in the last little while and uh, it is awesome to see how much he has grown so um, really really good of him to uh, uh, share out uh, all those uh, beautiful things uh, that he's filmed and uh, we're very happy that he hasn't lost or killed his drone um, even though he did crash it once uh, for uh, some odd reason we don't know why yet um, but uh, uh, I had something similar happen in one of my videos where the drone wasn't working right and uh, some other guys told me take it out of theater mode and uh, put it into a uh, sport mode and it would um, uh, be able to fly a little bit easier and faster for you to get it back to safety so um, that's kind of a, something if you're uh, a drone person uh, if you have the G DJI drones that is uh, I don't think it'll work on the other ones but uh, DJI Mavic Mini or Mavic Mini 2 or uh, whether you're using uh, um, some of the uh, the bigger ones like the, the Mavic uh, uh, Zoom or the Mavic 2 or uh, Mavic uh, Pro uh, all those that's that same larger line so all good anyway guys and girls thank you all for being here and uh, i'm gonna shut her down uh, i'll get my end message on there if i can and uh, this way at least uh, you'll have had enough chance to uh, go look at that link and uh, hopefully you'll pop in there uh dr fox is signal interference uh, ever a problem with drones absolutely thendus uh, very much so uh, because they work on the Wi-Fi frequencies or Wi-Fi channels um, so if you are near a Wi-Fi source um, that will definitely wreak havoc on uh, on your ability to fly and or control it and uh, I actually had uh, had it happen to me twice where I got a little too close to somebody's tower and uh, when you do that uh, of course you end up with uh, signal swamping and uh, when your um, signal is being swamped or saturated to that degree um, you uh, you hope that your drone realizes that hey it's lost contact with you and says hey I better go back home <laughs> uh, so, um, and given enough RF interference or uh, uh, Wi-Fi based RF, um, your drone can actually go down right where it's at. So, um, that is something, uh, I don't want to sound uh, kind of weird here, but I have a drone killer gun. <laughs> Basically, uh, um, a Yagi that uh, is set up for that frequency and uh, 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 basically a Wi-Fi transmitter and uh, all you do is as you saturate you're pointing at the uh, the thing so um, the amplifier on there sends out increases the signal strength and uh, you're directing it specifically at the drone you can uh, uh, swamp the signal out and basically confuse it and bring it down so if you want to steal somebody else's drone that's a way of doing it i don't recommend you do that though um, <laughs> really most guys would like to have their drone back and uh, you know we understand some of those drones are uh, anywhere from um, you know well like my for me the uh, the mavic 2 zoom um, that was a $1,700 bill. So, um, uh, sorry for the late question. No problem, Thendis. 
anyway i'm gonna get off of here so um let's not anybody take anybody's drones down and uh, i gotta go find my bunny i noticed she kind of took off here i don't know where she went but uh well uh, i'll see uh, she's probably out back um messing around i did notice uh, lb was in this morning eating with her uh, at the same time and uh um then bb finally got fed up and chased him away so on that friendly note please uh we'll see you guys tomorrow night and keep smiling and please uh, tell your loved ones you love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised i'm your host dr fox 2000 thank you for being here and we will see you on day 146 which is tomorrow good night everyone